going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have another PU match and this is using this badass rain team. It's uh, it's really fun so I wanted to get some more use out of these guys. My goal is just to make PU a little more wet. So you know we're making it rain out here. So uh, we are using the Ludicolo along with the Relicanth for the fast rain guys. And then we do have the Lipard to set that up along with just a couple support mons. And uh, yeah, so looking at my opponent's team it does look like if Ludicolo gets his chance to come out in the rain he could have some fun. Overall, he does have some pretty scary stuff. I'm afraid of the Girder, and then he's got the Mesprit, along with, like, the Basculin. Uh, a pretty solid team there, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. This is against Yui. Uh, we have battled in the past, and it is a dude on Twitter, so I will refer to him as a he. But anyway, I lead off with Quay Dildo. You already know the plan here, as he ends up leading off with his Skuntank. So, in the two battles I've used this team, we see Skuntank leads, and I'm just gonna go right for the same thing. I'm thinking, maybe he's gonna go for the Taunt. I'm just gonna go right for the Rock, uh, the rock Slide here, just to get some damage. One good thing about that is it is gonna show me what kind of item this thing's rocking I don't see the black sludge so I'm actually not really sure what this thing wants to go for um, but I did get that special defense dropped harshly so I want to get out of here plus I probably just smell like shit just out here smelling up the battlefield so I'm gonna send in my uh, caught red hand at the old hitmonchan as this thing does go for the dark pulse I can take that easily because I am assault vested and uh, assault vest hitmonchan just fucking runs through PU lately you guys gotta should definitely use that if you haven't already. But I predict the switch into the Mesprit. I'm thinking I don't want to go for the Drain Punch. That's an obvious switch there, so I predict that. And we have a nice little double switch here, which works out in my favor, as that allows me to go into my Lipard. So I know that Mesprit does carry Dazzling Gleam, but if it's not max special attack, it actually can't kill me in one hit. So this does allow me a chance to get up my Rain with that Damp Rock. That Rain is going to hang around for eight turns. And this thing does end up having Dazzling Gleam, but luckily I am able to live that nicely. And uh, this allows me to go for a U-turn here. So I do about half to that thing with a critical hit, which is awesome. And now with this pivot, this allows me to go into my Relicanth, who is going to take advantage of that swift swim. With the doubled speed, I am going to be a fast-ass uh, rockfish. So Grandpa's Arthritis is feeling nice and lubed up from that rain, and this is going to allow me to outspeed it. So I'm just going to go right for a Waterfall. I figure I'm choice banded and in the rain that should probably take this thing out depending on what kind of Mesprit it is, but it actually ends up living it in the red and that allows it to fire off a Psychic in return. So I do take that nicely, it does just about half to me which isn't too bad and he doesn't really have anything to switch into on a choice banded waterfall so he has to stay in and that is going to knock out that uh, Rasta Pixie. So down goes that thing, it was a pretty big, uh, kind of a big wall to get out of the way so that is uh, amazing as now he's going to bring in the Girder, this weird ass clown looking Bob the Builder looking ass as I don't really want to take a mock punch I figure that's probably what he's gonna go for as I'm just gonna switch right into my wheezing who checks this thing very nicely but he makes a nice prediction there and just goes right for the knockoff instead gonna get rid of my black sludge and that's not too big of a deal here as I'm just gonna stay in and go for some sludge bombs as this thing is gonna start setting up bulk up so I, that's kind of what I was afraid of uh, bulk up girder with the eviolite is so damn bulky and I really just got to start whittling this thing down. So I'm going to go for another Sludge Bomb. I don't really want to Will-O-Wisp it because that's just going to give it guts. And uh, I, I do just need to start uh, getting some damage on this thing before it's, uh, it gets too too bulky. So uh, it looked like one more Sludge Bomb. If I can get a freaking Poison, that'd be real nice. But I, I don't get it there. It knocks it down to red. And his only attack on me is actually Drain Punch. Um, so that's not going to do much on a max defense wheezing. So I'm able to take that really nicely. And now it's looking like one more Sludge Bomb is going to knock it out. But he is going to switch that thing out. Uh, not the best matchup for Girder. Even with that many bulk ups, it's not able to do shit with uh, Drain Punch. So that's awesome. But uh, in comes the two pay. And I'm going to hit that thing with a nice little Sludge Bomb. Knocks it down to about half. And I really do not want to take a special attack with wheezing. I do want to save the Disco Balls in case that uh, Girder has any shenanigans later. So I'm just going to switch right back into Hitmonchan, who uh, has a pretty easy time with this gun tank. Even with the uh, harsh drop from the Acid Spray, I should be able to take uh, any special attack this thing wants to throw at me. So it does have Fire Blast, which is the highest power and that's neutral against me. But with that Assault Vest, I'm able to just absolutely eat that up. And then I punch that thing right in the, uh, the hair piece, and that's going to knock it out. So I get a bunch of health back from the Drain Punch. Uh, unfortunately, I do get aftermathed, but uh, not too big of a deal. Is Hitmonchan's feeling nice? Actually, probably not because I just drained a skunk with my fist, and that just that just sounds terrible. But uh, as of now, in comes the Basculin. My thought process here was that I could try to switch into Cradilly, trying to get the Storm Drain if he goes for Waterfall, but then I realized this thing has super power, and he does end up going for that. So had I switched into Cradilly, I would have just been destroyed, and I do just decide to sack off the Hitmonchan there. Uh, I got a little bit of damage with Mach Punch, which is nice, but uh, as I'm looking at it here, I can bring in my Lipard, I can get up a free Rain Dance, and then it's looking like 
Uh, his team is whittled down to the point where potentially uh, Ludicolo can have some fun. So I'm going to go for the Rain Dance here as in comes the Girder. Uh, I, can't, I can't really uh, save this Lipard. It's going to die upon switching in Stealth Rock. So I have to let this thing just knock me out. But I do get that Rain up and that's going to hang out for a while. So... Uh, the forecast is looking rainy and, you know, a 100% chance of pineapple. So, the Mach Punch is going to knock me out and I'm going to bring in the Ludicolo here. So, he's dancing. He fucking loves the rain. Usually, when people's parade gets rained on, it's terrible. But for Ludicolo, he has a swell time. So, uh, the thing is, just going to go for a Mach Punch just to get some damage before it dies. But a Giga Drain is going to be able to uh, knock that thing out. So, I'm dancing, having a damn fiesta. Uh, it's good to see that Girder gone because those things are freaking annoying. And they're just, you know, ugly as hell, all veiny, just... Just awful in general. But uh, yeah, so in comes Mufasa. I am going to be faster because the rain's up and I do connect on the hydro pump, thankfully. So I spit that shit at him and that is going to knock that, uh, that light part out, which that thing actually does really well against my team. So I did need to have the rain up to be able to outspeed that and uh, that works perfectly. So uh, now the Pikachu is going to come in. Unfortunately for this cute little fella, he's going to catch a hydro pump right to the stupid face. And uh, that's going to kill the Pikachu. I kind of wanted to see what this thing was going to go for. Probably a Volt Tackle guy. Um, but yeah, so he gets outsped and he cannot take a Hydro Pump, so that knocks it out. And uh, last but not least is going to be the Basculin. And uh, it does have Aqua Jet in the rain. It's going to boost it a bit, but what doesn't kill Guacamole just makes him stronger. And I can just finish that thing off with a Giga Drain. So uh, Ludicolo in the rain is nothing to mess around with in PU. This thing is an absolute threat. And if you lose your special defense wall early, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a good time. So that's gonna be the end of the match there, guys. Just uh, just a quick one I wanted to toss up with this uh, this rain team again, just because it's pretty damn fun. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe for some more Wi-Fi battles. Peace out.